cleaning. I just cleaning the house and suddenly the lights went out. Don't worry, Madding. The lights will be back in a bit. There's just a little problem with the fuse. There's nothing a little bit of tinkering can fix. Just wait me here and I'll be back. three months, Conrado Lopez learned a bit more about electricity and a lot about Alice Tan. Good morning, sir. I don't think I would need an electrician. It is just a burn line. I think I put the switch over. That is the first thing we should do. I think you will need a number of stage and a pair of new pieces. I am sure of that, but how do I go about fixing it? Simple. The line should never get mixed up. When the coverings run out and when they cross each other, that's when the sober starts. It's like a boy and a girl, then they really get mixed up. There's bound to be some more sober. I hope you are not fooling me. When come to my house, it's close by. In Makati, it's dark. I believe you well then. First, see to it that the main sheet is stop. Then look for the line. If you touch it, and it is light. Will not forget that. Clean the wires and tape them individually. Then seem to be that they do not work and they do not bother. No touch, no fireworks. Thanks for the lesson. I will not sell it to you. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I know that you are not really buying the good to use. You don't need all those bulbs. I had been counting them. A light bulb lasts more than six months. You have brought more than a dozen in a month. Mr. Lopez, tell me the truth. I also like collecting lengths of wires, sockets, rubber tapes. Have you heard of Thomas Alba Edison? Maybe I'm an inventor. You are a liar. Yes, a terrible liar. Am I not? What are you really trying to do? I, I wanted to talk to you. I want to see you. And they talk to me. That's the same for you. Believe me. And I don't mind buying all this useless stuff. But you can talk with me anytime. As long as there are no customers. My uncle doesn't mind. That is good to know. But I am not sure. You are Chinese. I am a human being. Will you stop buying things then? No. I cannot come here without a reason. I must talk with you again. Even if I have to spend the week. Alright, as long as if it's not too often and there are no customers. <laughs> you frightened me, Mr. Lopez. I would like to take it, but I don't have a problem. You can take taxi if you like. I prefer Kalesas, but if it's such a fine evening, can we walk here? We are all pink chains. Do you know what that means? That means we are not rich. The big chains are in the big hills. That's the way they do it anyway. Before the war, they said it was in Santa Mesa. I must just admit this. But I have some news in our Chinese school. Should have it lost a long time ago. Why don't you like it us? You're clashed us. For what? But you're clashed too. Look at all the other people who are out They are either the parents or from LinkedIn. Chinese girl is never married with Philippine boys. It is always other way around. You can call us in chick now. Because it is true. You are filthy. No, not you personally. But Filipinos are stupid, not you personally. Hey, on our first time, and look. We're quarreling. But you started it. I don't like quarrels. But can you imagine how would it be if we are married? You are being too fast. Now you're talking about being as we married. We barely know each other. 
after all those things I bought from you, I could start another store. I don't want your money wasted. Give them back to me, I will sell them to you. If it's far as you go, I keep over there. They want to see to your door. I am not hiding. How about you? My intentions are honorable. I would like to visit your house. Maybe not tonight, but someday with your parents. I have no parents. I have three brothers and I, I am the youngest. My uncle is their dad. We receive him in the store. He is our guardian. He took care of us when we were young. This is far as you can go. Or you will like to walk you home again. It is three pesos and eight centavos. I've been thinking about our life. I don't think we will need to spend much more if I get married. I could take care of her. And if I go get married, she will continue to live with us. Of course, like it always has been, how does the idea look to you, Ate? I have often wondered when it should be. I am sure by now you know the right kind of girl. I am stupid for not having understood when you said it is in the receipt. I was worried about that. Filipinos, I like that. Anyway, go. What's that? Stupid, like you said. Now, I hope we will not start an argument again. What don't you like in fasting? First, you are lazy and you don't know what it does for you. And this is why, no matter what you either say, you will never amount to anything. I don't know what you are saying. We work very hard. Our farmers work very hard. Many Filipinos are like that. Show me, and then you are so corrupt. Why? There was a baby. Someone goes to the shop. Policemen, rebellion agents, all of them. On the one hand, money. And my uncle always keeps on board. And every time, he increases the price of the one is It's the other end, it increases the cost of the king's he is just as dead. My father had to pay a bribe of 10,000 pesos way back in 1915 for his citizenship. It almost broke him. So, you are a Philippine citizen. This is where you make your living. Where the rich Chinese and your uncle make their home. Exploiting the country, its resources, and its people. If you don't like it here, why don't you go back to Peking or Taipei? Whichever you choose. Be careful now, you misunderstood me completely. My older brother he was very impressed with what the communists were doing in the packing. As we went there and returned, it was a solution. It was not done so much that the life there is harsh. It was that he did not feel at all. Can you not see Colorado? Our home is here. China, it will be foreign to me. Although I could get sentimental about it. I just want this country to have better less corruption, less envy, and less poverty. It is just as well that we have our arguments now. For when when we get married. Please don't talk about something possible. Let's just be friends. But I'm serious. I'm not making a lot of thousand and half money. That's the 400 pesos rent in the house. I can support you, not in the style. But I have a career still ahead of me. You can go on with your schooling if you want to. We may have some problems with my sister, but she will adjust. Why don't we go and meet her? There's just the two of us. It may not be, Colorado. I have been promised in marriage to someone already. There is just a little time for us. On the next day, 
Sunday, the sun was out. The storm had just blown over and the grass was soggy. And now, you would like to find out for yourself. See, they can see the Filipino boys are just making full of Watch the sun rise along the coast as we're both getting up. I can't describe what I'm feeling, and all I know is we're going home. So please don't let me go. This is what worries you. Now, if you wish, we can walk to Malada Church and ask, I did not do this to take advantage of you, to fool you. I know. Then, what are you crying about? I cannot marry you. Is it because you are Chinese? But you love me. You said so. I am not rich, but you will not starve. If it's not the money. If it is not the money, tradition, custom, whatever you call it. How would it? My uncle Conrado, he took care of us when we were our family. I told you, there is this rich Chinese who live in Green Hills. He is a widower. He has helped my uncle and given my brother very good jobs. Don't Alice, let us alone. Let us go to my house. They cannot find you there. I am Chinese. Where's Alice, Mr. Alice was no longer in the shop. Where can I find her? Mr. Tan, I know you don't like Filipino husband for your niece. But I love her. I want to marry her. You think I'm interested in her money? Then don't give her any dowry. No dowry. Is that clear? I have a good job with a big firm. I am young and industrious. I can support her and I can even continue sending her to school. I know you took care of her and I am grateful. Don't misunderstand that you are very, very late. You must leave and don't bother us anymore. Why don't you like me? He no longer went to the park except one Sunday in mid-February. It was a cool, pleasant afternoon with pure blue sky. He sat on the stone ledge as he had done in the past. You play the part of a soul at home But you come and start you packed your bags, had your heart set to roam When you left for dawn